and welcome to my channel. My name is Maria and this is my nail journey. Oh boy. <laughs> Let me explain something, okay? Um, I wanted to do the Aurora nails and I've done it before, but I've never done it with the Mylar in between. And I wanted to try it. If y'all watched my uh, episode from the last, or if you watched my last video, uh, you would know that when I got the Mylar sheets, I was a little upset because they were the wrong ones. And I was like, I don't know if these are going to work, but I'm going to try them anyway. Well, I tried them and it didn't work. <laughs> So this is what not to do. And there's actually a lot missing from this video. Um, I didn't film everything because once I knew that it wasn't com going to come out, I was so upset and so mad. But then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to uh, show what I did and do a how not to do it video. And then the next one will be the actual video that I did because I found some. I had bought some on AliExpress and they actually came in last week so it didn't take very long to get them and I'm going to try those on my next video so they will come out so much better anyway let's get started here I'm just going to kind of go over what I'm doing and then explaining you know some of the things that happened and whatnot so here I'm just fitting and adding the tips I am using um, not polish tips these are very similar to some tips that I get on Amazon they're a lot cheaper on Amazon but I do like these tips better so I'm probably going to be using these from now on um when I do use them I will link both these and the Amazon ones that I normally get um, so you can choose which ones you want to use. They're pretty, they're virtually the same like shape and everything, but I just like these better because they hold their shape better. Anyway, um, so you'll see different camera angles. Please bear with me while I'm learning my new area here. I am filming at school because I do more, um more sets at school than at home so this way I'm gonna bring you more content so it is a different area and I'm learning a new setup here this setup will also be the same probably on uh, on <laughs> probably when I get my new the cat's trying to get in here Oh no, the pig's trying to get in here. <laughs> uh, so if you hear that, it's the pig trying to get into my office. Anyway, um, probably, uh, it's probably going to be the same in my new studio. So I am going to be graduating here pretty soon. My guess is in about three weeks. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. This is just going to be a very, very short video, but I did want to show you that, even when things don't go your way, even when things don't go right, keep going, learn from your mistakes, and then move forward. The whole reason why this didn't go right was because I had the wrong Mylar. Everybody, you know, my teachers and everybody still liked the way that they turned out, but I did not because I'm not a huge fan of having just Mylar there and you can see all the cut marks and everything. But with the Mylar that you're supposed to use, you really don't see that as much. There's not such a harsh, harsh line with it. So yeah, that's going to be the next video. You'll see that next week or maybe sooner, depending on how much time I have. I haven't had a whole lot of time uh, lately because um, right now you're just seeing me kind of blending the edges in. And yes, it does kind of scratch up all of that, but it gets the holes kind of get the scratches get filled in with the with the uh, oh my gosh Maria with the gel that I'm gonna be using I'm using the light elegance extreme gel I got the extreme I got the builder and I probably need to get the cool gel because that has a little better flow I wanted gels with less flow because I wanted to be able to do more 
more nails at one time. But then I discovered that it, this one's a little too has a little bit too much viscosity in it. So I need to find something um, a little bit better, but I won't be doing that until later. So I'm just putting on the first layer of gel. And then after that, I put on and I, it doesn't show it in here. I am so sorry that it doesn't show a lot of the products that I'm using. Like I said, I'm one of those people that when thing when the surroundings change, when I'm doing something different, it kind of throws me off my game up until I get used to it. So please bear with me here. Anyway, so <clears throat> I'm just putting on the first layer of gel and then I'm going to cure it. Hopefully it doesn't show me curing it. I believe I cut those scenes out, but we will see. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going to be pretty busy coming up these next few weeks, not only getting ready for graduation, I have a project due in school, um, and then we are opening up a new business, my husband and I. I don't know if we're going to be doing, uh, if he is going to be doing a channel there too, because he is also going to be going back to school for gunsmithing. We are proof that you are never too old to start something new, okay? <laughs> but we are opening up a new business. We're going to be doing tumblers and sublimation and um, custom wood pieces and things like that because my husband loves to build and he built me my coffee bar. So that's like one of the things we're going to do. We're going to do the coffee bar. I'm going to stain it and finish it and all of that. Also sand it in everything. And then I'm going to epoxy the top. We're going to put like a, a huge saying on there and then we're going to put it on the top and then epoxy the top. That way it will be a lot easier to clean because the, the one, the one I have now, it's not hard to clean. Epoxy is just a lot easier to clean. So <laughs> we're going to be doing that. And yes, we will be using food safe epoxy. All right. This is the Mylar that you probably saw from the previous video. <laughs> this is the one that I just, I did not like the way it turned out. People did. I did not. Um, I just, I don't know. Anyway, I put some epoxy uh, an epoxy. Wow, Maria. I put some gel on there to kind of stick this on. And then I put the um, mylar piece on it and then cured it like that. I did that with all of the nails. Then after that, I did another um, layer of gel and put the yeah, I did another layer of gel. Sorry, cured that. And then, um, oh my gosh, Maria, filed and shaped that. Wow. What is wrong with me today? I say this every time, but I stumble on a lot of my words sometimes. I'm sorry. Anyway, so it's just showing me putting the next thing of gel on there. And then in a little bit, it's going to show me buffing and shaping and all of that. So, um, like I said, see how there's just like the rough line. And of course, there's going to be a rough line because it is a different color than what is on there. Yes, I know. But I wanted to see if maybe it would work. But no, I hate it. I hated it. It was like the worst set I've made in a while. Okay, and that's saying something because I've come a long way from when I started. <laughs> so I'm just tipping upside down so I can get a good apex on it. The video does go in and out of focus and I do go in and out of frame. I will be trying to fix that. Uh, this is like I said, this is my first video at my new little filming area. And we will I'll fix it. So next week, uh, uh, tomorrow, this is Monday when I'm doing the voiceover, but tomorrow is probably when I'm going to do um, the film the next one. We'll see. I don't know. It, everything at school just, I, I kind of go with the flow because some days I have clients, some days I do not. So, you know, whenever I get to film is whenever I get to film. <laughs> All right. And these are... This is me filing and shaping. I, on all my gel creations, I hand file. I do not use the 
um, e-file because gel is very soft. It's very easy to file. And if you do use the e-file, you are very, it's very, very possible that you can go way too far and then have to add more gel. I'm not about that. I want to do as little shaping and everything as as I have to. Um, I, I do make it, you know, I'm, I'm a perfectionist. I do try to make it as perfect as I can, but um, I want to make it so that, or create everything so that I don't have to do a whole lot of blending and shaping and all of that. Um, with a gel, it's a little bit harder because I'm not used to gel as much as I am used to acrylic, <laughs> but um, I'm, I want to learn everything. So I'm just top coating and then I am going to put it in the lamp for two minutes because this top coat needs to cure for two minutes. So coming up here is the finished look. I filmed the finish portion of it with my phone because I forgot to do it with my camera first or I wasn't recording with my camera. I don't know. I just didn't have that. So this is the finished look with my phone. Um, it, it doesn't look horrible, but I hate it. So it, I, you're going to get a new video on this. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more like this, then hit the subscribe video, hit the subscribe button. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up. Oh my gosh. Until next time. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing me uh, fail <laughs> and I will talk to you later. Bye.